Okay, Ben, a moving scene today is 18 hearses headed north on I-75. They left for Hyden Funeral Home in Gross Point Park and were escorted by state police to the Great Lakes National Cemetery. These 18 cremated remains were among the 26 discovered last month at Cantrell Funeral Home in Detroit. Our Jason Colthorpe was in Holly as these servicemen arrived at their final resting place. A Veterans Day service for 18 men who never got a proper military funeral. Their cremains arrived individually today at the Great Lakes National Cemetery in Holly to be honored by family, friends, and strangers there to salute their service to our country. Oh, it's extremely important. Um, they deserve it. They served. Ricardo P. Thomas. One by one, their names were read aloud. Charles Edward Cook. And then an American flag was presented to their family members. We just care for our own. It's a great privilege. For Donna Martin, whose brother died two years ago, she thought his cremated remains were already here at Great Lakes. And then, of course, they were discovered at Cantrell. When she arrived at the cemetery today and saw all the people that were here for her brother and these veterans, it was emotional. I had to cry when I first came up here. And I saw all the people. It's beautiful. I was just overwhelmed. She actually learned today her brother Marshall Johnson, an Army paratrooper, served in Vietnam. She can understand not knowing that, but not what happened after he died. I didn't know whether they had cremated him. I didn't know where his body was. I didn't know if there were ashes. I didn't know. But we just felt like we had been let down. You know, for something like that to happen. This was beautiful today. Now may they rest in peace.